Was the underground once stalked by a serial killer who pushed people from tube platforms to their deaths and then got away with it? This former detective says yes, that convicted murderer Kieran Kelly confessed to pushing 12 people in front of trains. He was very, very excited. He was obviously possibly physically excited by it. Loaded with testosterone, loaded with adrenaline, he spilled his guts, he told us everything. We couldn't stop him. We've seen court papers that say when being interviewed about another murder, Kelly told police, I'm your man for this one, but now I've started, I want to tell you about some more I've done in the past. At first, Jeff thought Kelly was lying, but when he started investigating, was shocked by what he found. And suddenly you're struck by the fact that Kieran Patrick Kelly is standing next to them. He was seen by the policeman at the scene, next to the body. You start to think, well, maybe he is telling us the truth. Jeff's convinced he killed at a number of stops along the Northern Line, including Stockwell and Clapham North. He says the Home Office told the police not to make the information public. The detail of it sounded quite convincing. I'm not quite sure why nothing, no action was taken at the time. Well, they said at the time, apparently the detective was told that it was something to do with the Home Office not wishing to spread panic, but I do wonder if it's an investigation you might consider reopening then. Uh, well, first of all, that's an odd reason. I, I find that not very persuasive, if I'm honest. I just don't believe... Well, I can't say I don't believe it. I just find it... I'd take, I'd take some persuading about it as a reason. But... Uh, we have said that we'll contact him and let's see if we can get to the bottom of what he's said. There are times within policing through operational or intelligence reasons you wouldn't want the public to know, but never, I've never heard of anything in, on this sort of scale and this nature of, of callous pushing somebody in front of a track to brutally murder them, it's, it doesn't sit right with me, so there's a lot of questions need to be asked. The British Transport Police say they believe Kelly is dead, but say they're keen to speak to Jeff about any information that he does have. From the Home Office, we just received a very short statement that says, any evidence to suggest a crime has been committed is a matter for the police. In 1982, Kieran Kelly was acquitted for pushing a man under a train. His lawyer has told me he believes his client was a fantasist. Jeff's convinced he was a killer, that got away with it time and time again. Tara Welsh, BBC London News.